Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is our database and this is our project. Here you can see I'm in home page. And if I log in as user, you can see I haven't actually created the dashboard for the user. Okay. Here you can see there is nothing. So let's create a dashboard for the user. So actually I'm going to copy everything from the admin dashboard. Let's copy it. And let's go to the user dashboard and actually I'm going to paste it here. What I have to do, I have to just say here user is admin, then go to admin slash admin dashboard. Admin dashboard. That's it. Nothing else, and here you can see in the sidebar we have multiple reference. So for the user, actually, I'll say here user underscore dashboard HP, and here I'll say user dashboard. Okay, now let's go here and check how it look like. Okay, so here you can see we have user dashboard here. And we have a logout button also. If I log out, uh, it will actually go to the. You can see uh, it is going to the logout.php. So I have to just remove this part because now I'm is I, I mean not inside. I mean I'm not inside the admin folder. I'm in the root directory, right? So I don't have to give here double dot slash. So logout.php and the back slash logout. Uh, you can see I've logged out. Log in as Let's say another user tanvir at gmail.com. Sorry, I'm going to add here one more link. Let's say that is view orders. View underscore orders. Dot each. Yeah, I'll say view orders. View orders and it. I'm going to click on view orders, it will go to the view orders. So let's just create a new file. View orders underscore orders dot PHP. Back view orders. Now you can see we are in the view orders. Here I have to copy all of them at first. Paste it. And we are going to actually change here. So we are going to fetch the order, right? So here you can see view item order. So actually I'm going to copy uh, the SQL. Look here, I'll go at the top. It's for the user and here I'm going to say, then I will actually join it. Then I will say, fire users.id is equal to I will say that dollar ID so I need a user ID here Start from the current session so I will say dollar uh, user ID square ID is equal to dollar underscore session over here and here I'm going to say that score ID now I will say that dollar uh, user ID from orders, right? Okay, so I made a mistake here. So let's go to the orders table here at first. We have customer ID, okay? Customer ID. Where I can say uh, order orders dot customer ID. It's called to dollar user ID. And now I have to execute the query. So so uh let's go to the admin view orders item right okay here and i'm going to copy all of them from here copy view orders go at the top and here you can see we have uh, in here our query and is you have a table here A 
should i can copy or uh, uh, everything right okay so i'll copy the whole table copy the whole table from here and i'll go here in the view orders in the main class actually uh i mean main div actually i'm going to paste it that's it and what i need username uh, email phone item id you know problem actually uh name price id status and i need to you know copy all the yeah hello very from yes the main th main table and this one okay we just have to copy it we just have to go to the style here and and here i'm going to paste okay so let's go back okay so here you can see undefined variable dollar con in number 24 so we actually yeah, haven't started yet connection so i will say include in um yes c c l u d include connection so the connection is in db dot php so i will say db dot php i hope now it will work so the orders okay now you can see we are getting uh, the orders uh we don't need any action here because we are going to remove it so we don't need any action all right refresh the orders and you just have to go here we need to remove this and here we just have to remove this because now we are in the root folder right so we don't have to give it okay now let's go and if i refresh here now you can see we are uh, getting all the values customer id customer name customer name uh <laughs> okay item name and customer name same so i'll go here i'll change it the query okay uh, menu item name and then customer name i would say customer name as uh, user underscore name okay so i'll copy it and i'll go here at the bottom and here i'm going to paste it and i actually i have to go to the view orders item for the admin also so i'll change here also it will say name add username and i will go here and i will change the name also from here so refresh now you can see the customer name tanvir and now if i log out we log in as milon at gmail.com one two three in go view orders now you can see it's saying milon only i think the project is done i hope you understand if you have any problem please let me know in the comment section i'm assuming that you have understood well so the project is done okay so see you in the next project till then goodbye